you guys, there's something I really want to tell you about emotions because it just happened to me. I don't know if you can see on this video, but I have just been crying a little bit and it came up, that sadness and that emotion came up in the craziest way and it came out and it just reminded me of something that I think is so important because after divorce, there are so many emotions that you're experiencing. And I think that's something a lot of people don't understand is that emotions are really physical and they can get stored in our body. So during your separation, during your divorce, Course, there were a lot of things that happened. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of sadness and a lot of grief. And those emotions, they can all get stored in your body and they can actually get kind of stuck in there. Most of us tend to not let those emotions out. And I think that's either because we're not really aware that they're in there or when they come up, we're not really ready for them and we don't know what to do with them. But it's also because we're afraid of what's going to happen when they do come up. We're afraid that they're going to overwhelm us or be too much or be too powerful. But the beautiful thing about emotions is if you just process them in your body, if you just let them happen and you do it all physically and you don't let this brain get too caught up and involved, your body knows what to do. It knows how to process those stored emotions. So I'm going to share what just happened to me because I think it's a really good example of this. I was just finishing up some work on my YouTube channel and I was um, just reading some YouTube marketing stuff and there was this video in there as an example and it's, you might have seen it, it's this puppy chow video from Purina, but it's this really cute story of this guy doesn't really matter. Point is, it was really funny. It made me laugh. And it made me laugh really hard. And I'm a little embarrassed to say it, like, laughed so hard I was crying. I think maybe I'm a little bit overtired. But at some point, I was laughing from that video, and I stood up, and I found that I just started crying. And it wasn't funny crying anymore. It was grief crying. It was sadness. And honestly, I'm not totally sure what that grief is from. There's a couple of things. It could be um, some of the things that are going on in my own marriage right now. It could be the death of my dog um, not very long ago. It might have been triggered by that puppy video. I honestly don't know. And it doesn't really matter. Because what happened, something got cut loose a little bit in the intensity of that laughing. And that sadness came up. And this can happen a lot because these emotions are triggered in your body. So a big physical experience like laughing hard or getting a massage or even exercising or certain movements with your body can kind of unleash those emotions and they come up all of a sudden. Like really, I was just crying and I had no idea why. What we usually do when that happens is we freak out up here, right? Our body starts letting this emotion go and our brains are like, oh my God, why am I crying? Why am I upset? Or they're like, I can't be upset right now. I can't be crying. And we have the, all of this story about how we shouldn't be having this emotion and how it's not okay. Or we get caught up in a story of figuring out what it is, right? I could have gone down that rabbit hole and been like, what is this grief? Where is it coming from? Does this have to do with my relationship? Does this have to do with my dog? Is it coming from some other place? Is it something I took home you know, after working with a client today? I could go into all of that and get caught up. But if I do that, I'm likely to grow that emotion instead of processing it and letting it out. So I didn't do any of that. I just let it come. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, now I'm crying. And I just watched that for a moment. I said, well, what does that feel like? Where is that? What is that doing in my eyes? What is the sensation of that coming up out of my chest and through my throat and all the way out through my eyes? And you know what? It lasted for about 30 seconds. And so I just came right here to make this little video because I just want to tell you that it's okay. Emotions are physical. They get stored in your body. And there are so many in there for you after this divorce. And, you know, sometimes, like, especially if we end up working together coaching, sometimes it is worthwhile to go in there and do that inquiry and understand that emotion and look at the thoughts it's coming from. Sometimes that work is necessary, but so often it isn't. So often your body just knows what to do with these feelings if you'll step aside and get out of its way. If you stop freaking out because you have the emotion and if you don't engage in playing the story in your mind that's gonna grow that emotion, if you just let it be, just let it be a physical sensation, sometimes your body can start to just work that out. It knows what it's doing. And I can say that with so much confidence, partly because I just experienced it myself like five minutes ago, uh, but also because there's been a lot of research on that.
That book behind me though, Waking the Tiger, the fellow who wrote that, Peter Levine, spent 35 years studying trauma. And he did a lot of research in wild animals, trying to understand why they don't get traumatized. Right? Why doesn't a zebra get traumatized every time it's chased by a lion? And what he found is that animals process traumatic events physically. After that ch lion gets chased by, after the lion doesn't get chased, after that zebra gets chased, it shakes, it trembles, its whole body, but not for long, for like a minute or two. And then it goes back to grazing and it's okay. Our bodies know how to do that too. They know how to release the energy, how to release the, the neurotransmitters, the chemicals, the hormones, all of that adrenaline and nervous energy that's both chemical and energetic. Our bodies know how to deal with it, but our brains tend to freak out when they do that. So anyway, this is getting longer than I intended it to be. I just wanted to say, when those moments happen to you, like it just happened to me, when you are just suddenly hit like a by an emotion. When that happens, you don't have to freak out. It's normal. It's okay. And your body knows how to deal with it. You don't have to jump on board and analyze it and understand it and get to the bottom of it. You just have to let it happen in your body for a moment. If you can do that, if you can keep this guy up here quiet, I think you'll find that those emotional moments can actually be a huge relief.